Hello, it's Jason Payne from Cold Banker, Dade Hop Realtors. Today I'm at the beautiful master plan community of Esperanza in the historic Texas Hill Country town of Bernie, Texas. I really love this community. There's so much going on about it. But right now, there's quite a few spec homes available, meaning the builders built it. And because of these really crazy high interest rates, people haven't been buying them. So builders have been cutting some prices and some really great deals are going on. Right now, this house built by Monticello, this is the Warren plan. It is on a 60 foot lot, 3,169 square feet. They just had an $80,000 price cut on this house and it's now down to $750. Four bedroom house, uh, three car garage. Let's go check it out. All right, sorry about the noise. Uh, we do have some construction going on. They're trying to break down some rocks. Um, hopefully if you saw my motorcycle tour of this community, I just did that today. Let me put that up in the box right now. Well, great amenities, amazing schools. Check out Bernie ISD. Uh, this community is one of my favorite, probably is my favorite in Bernie, Texas. And uh, really, really love Esperanza. Monticello, of course, they're in my top tier of favorite builders list. And this house is move in ready. See all the landscaping going on that they've done. Beautiful oak trees. And wait till you see the backyard. It is big. But yeah, I definitely like a lot of things about this house. Uh, it is two story, there's two bedrooms upstairs, but man, this is a really well laid out house in a really wonderful community. All right, here's time where I beg and plead for you to hit that like button because it really does help my algorithm. Got a beautiful door with uh, rain glass on it. Gives you enough light, but still some privacy. All right. Really tall ceilings in here because like I mentioned, this is a two-story home. Uh, right when you come in, they have this room. Looks like kind of designated as a formal dining room, but you can take that chandelier off and use it for whatever you want to do. Uh, if you want to put a piano in here, a bar in here, you can do whatever you want because there's another dining room space. Uh, and I'll show you that in a second. This is the uh, office. Plenty of space in this office. Lots and lots of light. This would be kind of your view if you had it as your, your desk behind you there. We'll be able to see what's going on outside. But yeah, there's build, there's go, stairs going up. We'll get to this in a second. I, I do like having this little nook here where you can put a little runner type uh, cabinet there, put your pictures on it, whatever you want to do. But yeah, here's the main living space. Tall, tall ceiling. Beautiful kitchen. Got your in-ground outlet. You got a big enough wall, you can do whatever the hell you want to with this wall. If you want to, <coughs> pardon me, if you want to put a projector, you definitely could. You can even mount it up top there. And I have a 120 inch screen if you wanted to. But yeah, let's check out this kitchen. Really nice kitchen. Got the double ovens. By Whirlpool. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little tickle in my throat. Kind of your corner pantry right there. Love the herringbone backsplash here. This is a gas community for a five burner gas cooktop, also by Whirlpool. Got your microwave built in up there, but definitely have a big, beautiful uh, single basin sink microwave over there. Definitely like the little two tones, kind of a dark bluish gray island. <clears throat> wow, just on the camera. That's a lot bluer in the camera than it is right here. It's more of a grayish look with a white backsplash, white background there. But I do want to show off the garage that's over here. So you got your mud room for coming in from the garage and a beautiful big laundry room with lots of cabinet space. Love how they went a little fun on the tile in here because it's small space, you can definitely do that. Lots of space for your washer and dryer, your hangups, plenty of cabinet space and other stuff. All right, let's go out and check out the garage. This is a three car garage house. We got two up front here. And then it was a tandem garage, so you have all the space back here. 
Monticello comes standard with a tankless water heater. If you only got two cars, uh, that's fine. Now you got a plenty of space for a workspace back there. Place park your motorcycle, do whatever you want to. It's kind of cool. <clears throat> All right, that's just a storage closet. No need to see that. All right, lots of light in this plan. And uh, I mentioned before that front room doesn't have to be a formal dining room because wow, you got lots of space right here in their breakfast nook or formal dining room, whatever you want to do with it. Now also, I mentioned before, checking out the backyard, this thing is a doozy. Now we're in the hill country, so uh, you do have some steps going down to your backyard, but does create a really neat view out the back. I like the fact that they're using wrought iron fences and privacy fences really opening up this space. Uh, the sun, this is January 2024, it's over there, but west is this direction. So this can be kind of ranged depending on the seasons of where that sun's at, but nothing going straight into your house there, especially not during the hot summertime. But man, this yard has a lot of space. If you want to put a pool in, there's plenty of space in between these gorgeous oak trees to do that. So it's like I was done when I walked out here the first time. That's a lot of space for this backyard. And plenty of covered space here. That light will be locked, blocked for a fan if you want to put that up there as well. All right, we do have another bedroom kind of tucked away back here. This is going to be your a full bath. Just not too far off the main living space there. But yep, here's the other bedroom. Good size. Some amazing views out the back, but we're kind of a higher part of the community right here. <clears throat> and a good size closet. So like I said, uh, builders haven't had a lot of spec homes or inventory homes, whatever you want to call them lately, because during the frenzy, people was gobbling them up, shoot, at foundation. Now that interest rates have gone up, uh, buyers have slowed down, these homes that the builders started are now finished. So with this house here, just off the top, like I said, they had that uh, $80,000 price cut, but Monticello, according to Larry, they still have another $30,000 they could play with to either buy the rate down or the price down, whatever you want to do. So, and you can still make an offer because these builders need to get these houses moved. So it's a great time to buy one of these spec homes or already completed homes. They need to free up the capital so they can start new projects. All right, this up here, you got two bedrooms. Nice, cool middle room space. <clears throat> Perfect if you've got kiddos or something that want to do video gaming, plenty of space to put a couch there, play your video games on this wall, or put a TV on here and do whatever you want to. But there, there's lots of space in this room that's shared by these two bedrooms. Once again, good sized bedrooms with really nice closets in them. Definitely a bigger closet than you usually see. <coughs> Pardon me, I really need a drink, but the water's not on. All right, this can be a full bath that can be shared by these two bedrooms. Really nice. They get a little work, they gotta fix that shower bar there. And this is the other room upstairs. Kind of mirroring the one we just saw. A little different shaped closet, but still a very big closet. So yeah, if you've got folks that have a, a lot of stuff they need to put in their closet, there's room for it here. And this neat little space here, you can do whatever you want to, get creative. There's also a power outlet in the floor there. And that's just a little small closet. All right, let's head on back downstairs. All right, on to the master bedroom and the master bath because that's always the highlight. I wanna showcase that off last, hoping I can keep you guys 
watching to, towards the end of these videos. So that's why I do the master bedroom last. But yeah, really good size. They do have the tile carrying all the way into the master bedroom. People really don't like carpet, especially on the first floor anymore. You got your French doors leading in to this really beautiful bathroom. Dual vanities. I love the fact they've got framed mirrors. Just really look great. A little square sink basins. Big, big square soaking tub. Freestanding. That's actually not a cheap thing to do instead of having it built on the wall. It is a freestanding tub. And a really big uh, plexiglass walled in shower there. And it is mud. <clears throat> the uh, inset is into the foundation. Sorry guys, I've been sick for like a month. My voice is just coming good enough to where I can do these videos. So that's why I'm coughing and hacking quite a bit. All right, water closet. And a really good sized master bedroom closet with a shoe rack. And yeah, my voice is 100%, got a little cough, but I need to get, uh, there's a lot of work to be done. So I gotta get back at it. So yeah, even this closet even extends all the way around here. So lots and lots of space in this closet. Really nice. Love this plan. Love the fact they just had an 80,000 price cut with still another $30,000 to play with. So that's kind of a nice deal. That's why the sales rep said, hey, this house, they want sold. So of course, I'm going to try to give you guys as much information as possible about it. All right, that's gonna do it for the tour of this Warren plan built by Monticello Homes in the community of Esperanza. As I'm filming this, it is 18 January, 2024. Um, their asking price, remember asking, we could always make an offer, is 750K for this four bedroom, uh, three car garage, three bath, two story home. It is move in ready uh, and they got another 30K to play with as uh, far as buying down the rates or the price, whatever you want to do. Anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, of course. But most importantly, if you know someone moving to the Texas Hill Country area or the Search Cibolo area around Randolph Air Force Base, please share these videos with them, share my page with them. I'll be happy to help. I'm a real estate agent that specializes in this communities, well, this area. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. All right, that's going to do it for today. <laughs> Take care now. Bye.